Hi guys, welcome back to Mission Economics, a platform where we talk about research, career, jobs and education. As you know that I always bring something new from my PhD journey to you. So today I have decided to talk about research databases. If you have started your PhD journey or you are doing your dissertation in masters or MBA, then these databases are going to be very useful for you. So without wasting much time, let's get started. But before that, don't forget to subscribe the channel and share it with your friends. Okay, so let's get started. Now, when you start your PhD research, then there are two types of research databases which you have to look for. The first one is the qualitative databases and the second one is the quantitative database. The first one that is the qualitative database is also known as the bibliographic database. Now what is qualitative databases? In qualitative databases what you have to see, you have to look for literature review, you have to look for research papers, articles, jahaan se ki aap apna write up lik sake research ka. And the second category which is of quantitative databases is basically the numeric databases from where you can gather or you can extract the data for doing some analysis part. Okay, so I guess this is very much clear for you that there is a bifurcation in that. One database you will see which is qualitative, which you use for your research or literature review, for writing research papers or for reading past researches, ko padne ke liye ki kya -kya hua hai. and the second database is the quantitative database, where we data extract data from year-wise data extract karte hain let's suppose hame alag alag countries ka data extract karna hai alag alag states ka data extract karna hai ya alag alag companies ka data extract karna hai so that is known as the quantitative database so let's get started with the qualitative database we will just first discuss the qualitative databases and the type of databases which you can use for your good research work so let's get started now Number one on the list is Google Scholar. I guess we all are very much aware of the Google Scholar and you know at the first instance we just use Google Scholar for our research. But many of the students doesn't know that apart from Google Scholar there exists a lot of databases. There is a long list of databases which you can use for your research and you can add some quality reviews in your research. So after Google Scholar the second number is the JSTOR. If you have ever heard about the JSTOR database, then it's a database for social sciences research and it's a paid database. So, when you are PhD in admission, le rahe hai, to make sure that your universities have in databases ko, uh, subscribe kiya ho so that you have in databases ki access available. Ho. See, Google Scholar database was a free database, but JSTOR is a paid database. So, your institute has to subscribe to this database. Now, number third on the list is the Scopus database. Now, uh, all of you might have heard about the Scopus database. It is a very famous database these days. We also try to you know publish as many as Scopus papers as we can. So Scopus database is also a paid database and it's a multidisciplinary database. If you are from sciences background, if you are from English background, physics background, mathematics background, chemistry background, then it contains research papers of all the areas you know on this database you just have to put your query and you will get all the papers in all the subjects and you have to put some li limits over that soon we will be making a video on how to use the scopus database from where you can uh, you know see that ki scopus ko properly use kaise karte hain okay then number four on the list is web of sciences database just like scopus this is another database this web of sciences database is from claveriate and the you know the scopus which we have just discussed is by elsewhere so web of sciences baby aapko sare ke sare research papers mil jayenge chahe wo social sciences ke hoon physics ke hoon economics ke hoon mathematics ke hoon aapko sare ke sare achhe research papers milenge apni review ko achhe tarike se likhne ke liye dekhiye jitne achhe research papers hum apne phd ke dauran padhenge utna acha hi hum apna write up likh payenge so make sure ki jab bhi aap papers pad rahe hain to aapne papers apne hamesha jstor scopus web of sciences se hi download kiye ho aur aap quality papers hi padhe just to increase your knowledge now after web of sciences there is another database that is known as SCI space that I have just started to use and trust me guys it's one of the bestest uh, databases I have ever uh, seen SCI space you you just have to put your query simply and it will give you all the papers relating to your research topic 
and once you get all the papers there is also a facility if the paper is fully available then you can simply download it and the full if the full text of the paper is not available then you have to search from other sources sci space size space now number 6 on the list is absco i don't know if you have ever heard about absco e b s c o it's again a very good database where you get all the quality papers sometimes the papers which you won't get over scopus and web of sciences you got those papers through absco so again it's a very good database and the number 7th on the list and the last qualitative database on my list is pubmed pubmed is basically for those students who belong to medical sciences you know you mostly you will get the papers relating to medical or sciences uh, papers on this pubmed but again it's a very good da database which contains quality papers so on this bibliographic database i have given you the list of seven databases let me just again recall these databases the first on the list is google scholar second one is the jstor third one is the scopus fourth one web of sciences fifth one sci space sci space sixth one is absco and the seventh one is pubmed so you can just go and search your paper relating to your topic and you can get a plenty of material a plenty of material and these databases are all of so uh, credible qualities they are of so good quality that you can any time rely on these databases and after discussing qualitative databases now is the time to move on to quantitative databases that is after writing the literature now you have to analyze some data and you know come up with your results so let's get discuss that what kind of a databases are available which you can use for extracting your data so number 1 on the list is proves i guess uh, all of you might have heard about proves proves is basically a database especially when you are working on different different companies or you are working on manufacturing sector or you are working on some financial topic as this database is very much useful especially for the students of mba as well as mcom if they are are work they are working on the financial performance of different different companies then they can surely go to the proves and get some credible quality data but the problem is that this database is a paid database again you have to check out if your university has subscribed to this database now number second on the list is bloomberg bloomberg again is very much useful for finance students or commerce students again you can get information relating to all companies relating to different sectors of the economy whether it be you know industrial sector of the economy whether it be the transportation sector of the economy or it be the tourism sector of the economy so you can extract data from the bloomberg now number 3 on the list is wdi this is a fabulous database i would say world development indicators on its site if you go to world development indicators you can get data relating to various aspects whether it be health whether it be education whether it be sanitation whether it be tourism whether it be economy industry technology trade anything so just go on this database and the best part is that this database is freely available it's an international database so it's freely available for all the academicians now number 4 on the list list is wits W I T S WITS World Integrated Trade Services Data. If you are working on international trade, then this database is very much useful for you. You can gather data for G V Cs, backward linkages, forward linkages, trade in services, trade in goods, E T C. And now, number fifth on the list is U N Com Trade. U N Com Trade database is a very good database. Again, it's a free database which is freely available. It is maintained by United Nations organizations and it contains uh, various variables and uh, also it contains the oldest to oldest data. U N Com Trade. Now, number sixth on the list is A S I. What is A S I? Basically, A S I is Annual Survey of Industries. ASI database is useful for you if you are working on Indian industries. If you are you have a work on India or on Indian industry, then you can some gather some useful data from this ASI, and you you have to little bit uh, learn that how to extract data from this database. Now number seventh on the list is the RBI archives. It's like 
every central bank maintains some data relating to their economy so if you are working on india if you have a work on india then surely you can go to the rbi website and in its archives you can extract data you have to check whether what kind of a data you want on which variables you want the data if it is available then you can extract from that and if you don't get the data from rbi websites then there is also an option if you are working on uh, your economy or an indian economy or any other country if you belong to pakistan philippines sri lanka if you are working on your economy solely then you can just go to the government websites as well as your central bank's website where you can get all the information because governments have to maintain all the information it's mandatory so from time to time they keep on updating information on their websites or on the their central bank websites so you can get, go there and gather the data i hope this video is very much useful for you i hope you have gained some insights from this and you got some insight that how we have to do our research so if you have liked this video if you have you know like the content then please do like the video and share it with your friends as much as you can and do subscribe the channel guys because i have told you that i don't have the time constantly so whenever i got the time i just upload the videos so i have a very good content from my phd journey whatever i uh, learn from my phd journey i keep on sharing with you till then take care and bye bye happy learning